All right. This is my box that I bring hog hunting with me. Or if I go to the hog okay. dog trials, I bring this with me. Just because, I mean, you never know what's going to happen. Dogs get cut all the time. Uh, in here, these are just some of the things I carry in here. Staple gun. If you don't have a staple puller to pull these out, needle nose pliers work if you sanitize them with alcohol. These are stitches just like what a human gets. That's good to spray on to make scabs. It also disinfects. This right here is what them look like when they're opened up. This is a curved needle. That's what they look like. I've got this open because I sewed a bulldog's ears up. So yeah, we don't reuse needles. I it's just sanitary. used it to show it to you. If we're gonna do any stitching, you're gonna want these. I spray cutting heel on them afterwards. If a dog cannot lick his wound, you're gonna wanna put this on there if they can't lick their wound. Also got blood stop, or you can use flour and sugar mixed together. It also works. Dental floss. I mean, you can use it. It's got a wax coating on it, so it don't tear through the skin. Lighter. I carry a lighter to sometimes burn it. Not the dog, but the <laughs> stitching. Or to clean some of this stuff. I also carry rubbing alcohol. That's all I carry in my quick throw together hog hunting dog, hog baiting kit.